Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, Madeo. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, everywhere you can type in Boss Talk Podcast 101, you can find us. I guarantee you. But if you want to see our visuals, you definitely got to go ahead and sign up for our membership on YouTube. How you get to our membership under each and every one of our videos, including this one right here, there is a link. It says, Membership, sign up, click that link. It takes you all through the process. Y'all say you want to support us. Y'all love what we're doing. That's how you can support us. Go ahead and sign up for a membership. Thank you in advance. Hey, man, listen, man. We got well, you did hey, that. Wait a minute. We got this guy in here today. I got to intro him. I got to intro him. He, about, he was about to take off. He was about to take flight right then, man. Don't forget what I'm going to say. Check it, man. Rainwater's in the building, man. What's going on, man? Hey, when, you, when he introduced you, what you say after that? Oh, my dad will walk on. What that mean? <laughs> mean I'm here. What's up? Uh, okay, uh, say it again. Say it again. Madea. Madea. Walk on. Walk on. With Madea, walk on. Hey, you got <laughs> it. You got it. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Man, you know I'm mad at you, man. Cause what? last time you came over here, we did an interview. I didn't get to put my interview out because you got a little, you know, you didn't feel like it was, you know. He got high. What? He got high. It was a drink. It was a drink. You should never gave me that drink. But then I you see You said it. you wanted it. Yeah. No, because no, I'm drinking it fast. I was thirsty. <laughs> but you but, live you know, here. I, I come back over here and hydrate. Bro. <laughs> every, time I, every time I need some water or something to hydrate, I come over here. You went, you went away from here. You went on. Uh, a couple of places you went and you did interviews and man I was like man my interview better than them interviews man no, I can't it, put it out but it's better than I seen no, you can put it questions. out I just need the first topic to be out because I was saying so it was certain choices of words that it would have made me look crazy yeah, I, well, I got your back now, so I ain't tripping. Yeah, I still want that out. But they put, put that. Blue. <laughs> oh, you still want to put that one out? Not the first topic, but okay. everything, everything else. else. With, yeah. that, with that blue, with that blue, the shirt blue, on. And, yeah, man, yeah, that, sex that would have been legendary. And yeah, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was legendary. That was a good interview. I, yeah. I was like, man, I, said it to you. I thought time. you gonna hit me back and be like, nah, man, go on, throw that thing out there, cut it up and chop it and do your thing. And now, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I respect you, man, and I know already. You know, uh, a lot of time when when you get in these interviews, man, it's a lot of people watching, man. There's so many things going on. I can't even start the interview without uh, R.I.P. and Big D the Mogul. Big D the Mogul. Big D. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, yeah. So you you know, yeah, Big D, man. Big D the Mogul, man. Mogul Media. Big D, my dog, man. I uh, I was I was around him. Was you was like, around. It was his last the, interview. That, that was night. the last interview. Yeah, you was the last interview on that toxic. Uh, what is it? Yeah. Toxic tequila. It made me go to church. It made me think. Cause uh, and sometimes I'm ain't gonna lie to you. It's like people be knowing it, and that's the second person that I was around the day before he passed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, that's a scary situation. And I asked him too, like, yeah, I, like, man, just a hard week. Uh, the dude streets, uh, I believe uh, he was thinking about streets a lot. Who is streets? Uh, that was his old artist that died three days before that. Oh, I ain't know. I ain't okay. know that. He died. He died of drugs. Mm. And so he he mentioned it. He mentioned something else. I can't not remember, but he mentioned that the second thing. So I was like, who was that? He was like my old me and Sean Cotton, old artist. Mm. And I think he was battling with that the whole time. You know, uh, I think he I think he was battling with that the whole time because that was on his mind. Wow. Man, I just always, you know, I, it messed with me up pretty bad because we talked the day before that too. Mm -hmm. And we always used to talk about this podcast stuff. Yeah. And it just tripped me out, man. But at the end of the day, I when it happened, I thought, I didn't even believe it, bro. I was like, I can't even know. Yeah, because yeah. there was no sickness. Yeah, you come though. calling me and everybody else come calling me. And I'm I like, think, did I call yeah. you first? Yeah, you blew my phone up. I called Elvis. you. I was like, man, this real, man. I'm yeah, I ain't, to... I ain't think it was real. Like, man, Big D. Yeah, because when he told me, I was like, nah, you lying. I said, find out. How did you find out? Sean Cotton posted it. Yeah. And that made it serious GD, to me. Yeah, but and GD sent and it to me. And then GD sent it to me. 
GDP from down in New Orleans. He yeah. was like, is this, because he stay on top of the, what's yeah. going on with our media. He, said, he watched you and everybody. He, but, he like, is this real? And I was like. But if Sean posted, if Sean they posted, Sean, it's like, real, bro. So I called you as soon as that. Boom, I called you. And I was like, man. A lot of people hadn't seen it yet because everybody was calling like nine. Nah, everybody heard. I called hadn't heard about it. Nobody was watching. They thought you was just crazy. Because yeah. Sean, Sean followed me on, on the uh, IG, so when he posts something, I seen it. I went straight to it. It was like, dang, because I hit the button like, dang. Yeah, that's crazy. He, uh, he talked to me on the whole way he got home, but you were talking about summer the whole time. That was like 12 summer or about, 1? Yeah, about, it was about. No, I late, we, you know, we about get up about 11.30. I left him by 11.30, talked to me by 1. 1.30, he talked for a long, long time. I ain't never talked to this man that long on the way home. He like he was just vending to somebody his, all his ideas. He and, did the same thing to me a lot, bro. Yeah. Like I could walk the whole, like I be yeah. walking, exercising. Like three miles. Yeah. Two I can miles. walk, he be walking more than me, mm -hmm. but I walk for a long time and me and him would talk the whole time. He telling me yeah. about different stuff. I'm telling you, that's just the way it was, man. But I can't believe this, bro. Like, like man, but believe it. Because one day you're here, the next day you're gone. Yeah, man. And then, you know, he busts his ass to. For certain people around the city, I mean right. around the city, ain't nobody showing them no love. It's like nobody care. It was your first interview Why that you he told nobody me. Nobody care. Oh, go because ahead. Because the city should just be talking about that. We can't even do no count like for him because he dealt with artists. So when you deal with artists and you deal with people that's in the entertainment in the city of Dallas, like if you pass, they just gone about their life. But a lot of people was posting it. A lot of people were saying rest in that's peace it. and all of that's that. That's it. That's one day. Mm -hmm. After that day, you gone. That man had a two year old son. We ain't heard nobody. I ain't seen nobody else post out, out, outside that day. Nobody else. Like, and I just sit back and look at it like, damn, Big D. Because you know, at the end of the day, when when I needed something to talk about, I called Big Big D. Big D come to my house when I was leaving Mo Three Funeral. That's what I was about to ask you about. I was already calling Big D, saying, "Meet me in my house." That's the interview that did millions of views. That's yeah. really he told me that that made his channel go up. That's what done it. Yeah, that, that so you know then after a while you know every time I, I do an interview with Big Big D, Big D come on come to my house. He the only person that ever came to my house, me and my family, everything. You know uh, he was messy. He's a messy motherfucker. I can't lie to you. He mess, he was messy, <laughs> but he was good. He, I like the quality of it. Like I I stole, I was fucking with him. My first interview was him in 2020. Yeah, I seen the runny on his channel, and it was just it just it just it was it, the cameras he used, and then you could see yourself the right way here. He set it up. Oh, yeah, it was a fool. He did it in here. He was doing yeah. it. He know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. He uh, he had it right. I used to like the quality of him, and uh, it was like a baby Vlad. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that's why I used to like going to him. You know, and then the storytelling of his channel. You know, uh. If you just riding in the car and going out of town, I can't wait to get an artist go out of town because we go listen to interviews. And you can just put on the interview and listen to all the stories that that was told. And they some amazing stories. So, uh, I mean, I hope his wife keep everything going. I hope so, too. Yeah, because that's the, that was a badass. But I know nobody going to be able to do it like big. Nobody. Big that's the Setting same. up the cameras and editing like that and then switching back and forth. I mean, that's going to make it a wrap. But. That's the part that's hard because, you know, you can never prepare yourself for death. But that's really one not. thing I be thinking about. And like I tell him all the time, I said, something happened to me. You need to move on. Keep doing this. But, like, if something happened to him, I don't know how I will keep doing this. Because, to me, it's... It's him, and then nobody can replace that mm -hmm. seat. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So it's it's just hard. Yeah, I, yeah, that's fucked up. A, I can't picture nobody else in that seat. Yeah, it's just hard. You know, uh, man. You know, I'd be mad in the bitch if I come here. Little Dunny ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, it was something I was gonna ask you because. But let I, me before you get to that. Why ahead. are you looking for it? The thing that I wanted to ask you real quick. Why are you always? People always throw you in the mix of everything in a bad, negative way for some reason. Why am I looking down comments after Big D passing and people talking about, oh, 
you poisoned him, you killed him, <laughs> yeah. you did yeah. you that. And I'm like, <laughs> that's dumb. And I'm like, really, because they're saying like, you the last one with him, you slipped something in his drink because of, uh, and, and they were in detail of the reasons why. And I'm like, I'm gonna read it. That's what I was looking for. I said, this nigga <laughs> crazy, bro. I never would have thought like somebody would think like that, bro. That messed my head. I told him, I was like, this is crazy. Like who would say something like this? There's one dude, he said, they all gonna, he said, they all gonna pretend they don't know Rainwater had mad beef with Big D for conducting tell-all interview with Kogati, which would reveal all about what really happened to his brother Mo3. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they That's say. Dumb. That be, was a comment on that. Was a, yeah. and, you know, and and you, I think I'm they gonna give be, me too much power. Why do they do it though? Like, is it be, is they just lose? Oh, no, it's, it's because is it because of. Of when they when people see you coming from the bottom and they was around you at the time and then you surpass them and and you know you know they just you know they they do they'll do it from secret pages then you know what I'm saying so you know they throw a lot at me it is I think it'd be people that do it from secret pages that be yeah. prominent people to be honest with you I see yeah, a lot yeah. of them coming on then, us and then young Mexicans. It be a lot of them young Mexicans. They, they talk. They talk shit. Why you ain't did this? Why you ain't did that? They they some they talk shit. But nah, Big D, how the hell I'm gonna poison this big ass dude? Who's drinking? Yeah, y'all was. Who's that's drinking? a part of the show though, yeah. right? But I left before. Then there was some nasty drink. There was some nasty ass liquor. Ooh, that was nasty. Supposed to be tequila, ain't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl said that some of friend was the bartender. So Summer came and said, "This is the drink of the day." And I taste that. I said, who's some nasty shit? Well, but you drank yeah. it. Yeah. And Big D Big Ass over there drinking it. That was some nasty drink. Well, I don't know what they did. They they combined a bunch of drinks together. Really? That was some nasty you shit. You ain't asked what all was in there? She said it too on the on the on the uh on the interview. Show? Yeah, that was some nasty that was a nasty ass drink. That was a nasty drink I've tasted in my life. They had like four different liquors with some syrup and some type of shit. It was nasty. That was terrible. Damn. I ain't never drank no drink like that before. That was terrible. Man, I, well, how was that? I don't know if that show, I'm, I, I don't even know if it'll still be a show, but if it is, I, I hope they put, you think they'll put that episode out? Yeah, it was a good ass show because he, 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 he had faith in, in some of us. I told her, I don't know why. Because I was mm -hmm. like, I don't think she going to do She going to be dependable enough. And he just still was determined to keep yeah. her as the one. Yeah, that was, that, I mean, that was a little team. I, ain't nobody was connected like that they, they with her. Yeah. Like, like some of them. I, I towed some ass up on the interview, right? Made her get up in the middle of the interview and walk out and say, this she is over. Want do she ain't want to do it no more. Because she going up against a beast. So then Big D was in her. When Big D told her she got to go back and, do, and, and repeat the topics. So they was going over the topics for about 30 minutes. She kept messing up. He kept telling her, come on. He kept She kept messing up. So finally, he was like, Summer, that's it. That's a wrap. We just go work, work on it next time. And Summer was determined. I watched her. You hear me? She kept saying, no, Big D, I got to finish it. I got to finish it. So she wanted to. She wanted to. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I watched I watched how determined she was. He was like, no. He was like, no. Wow. Man. Going to miss Big D, man. He 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 was going to have that plaque party Friday, too, for the 100000 Yeah. He was supposed to have it Friday when he passed. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. the, the plaque because he got over 100k but he went to he almost called me like quick like when that damn that man that, that killed all them people he interviewed him it went crazy and then this couple interviews went crazy with him that went viral. and when it went viral it went viral bro look I, I ain't gonna lie to you we gotta talk about the elephant in the room go ahead they bring it they taking him to a church I seen that I seen that but it wasn't something that he believed in Mm -mm. And I was wondering about it because first I heard about the balloon releasing. And when I heard about the balloon releasing, I was like, maybe that's all they're going to do since he don't believe in God and stuff like that. I'm yeah. thinking that's all it was. But then when the next text came in, I said that they're doing it at a church. I was like, but at the end of the day, when you're dead and gone, you shouldn't care where you're going yeah. Where they gonna do whatever, yeah. and, and and like I said, and especially if it wasn't discussed. Yeah, and and, and if that's what his, his wife decide, I you know. Nah, I'm gonna go up there. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna definitely go. I'm too. gonna go and I'm gonna try to speak and I'm gonna say I'm gonna look at that cash and look at him and that cash and say, nigga, 
I finally got you inside of church. Wow. Because yeah. <laughs> you used to talk to him about I it. Talk to, I used to I argue too. with him all I the think time. Everybody but God, did. He did that. He and and that. let me ask you, he might was arguing with God. Everybody Look did. about the death that there was that that, that that happened that was around him. But I believe, you know what I'm saying? How he was acting, he was dealing with something in his head. Yeah. He wasn't himself. I mean, he was, but he wasn't, though. We were noticeable that he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. We and him talk, man. Like I said, we would talk about the business more than anything. You probably talked to him on a whole nother level. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, I'm real. Now, we did talk about, we went back and forth about the word. You know, I'm a word oriented guy, so. Yeah, man. And me and him would just talk scripture. For, I would give him scriptures and tell him, hey, this is why I believe this and this is why I believe that. And I articulate well. So me and him has a lot of conversations. You heard I some think of. a lot of, yeah, I did. I think a lot of people do that because I've seen people who post, like Skull posted, and he said he talked to him about God too. So I see, I, I, I think everybody did. I see everybody talk to him about God. And, you know, people can always say this or that, that he was this or that, but then we don't know that whenever he passed, it, that quick second somebody can yeah. say, God forgive me, or God, you know, whatever, and call out. So people can't be so quick to judge on a person and be like, this is where they're gone or this is where they're gone. You don't know what happened that split second that split before second. it's time. Yeah. You know, uh, I know Scarface so say you only got a, a minute to pray and a second to die mm. on that yeah. song. <laughs> and I never real. seen a man cry till I seen a <laughs> man that's die. Real. Man, I'm that, I thought you were talking about, you know, Scarface. Scarface. I'm talking about Scarface. Yeah, everybody, has some verses, I thought man. you were supposed to do a Bible verse. No, time. Scarface. You look serious. Has some verses, you, know, you know, Scarface. Said <laughs> some <bad acts. laughs> yeah, it was hard when he said it. I was like, woo. I was in the streets too then. I was like, this is serious. Yeah. I'm about to pray before I die. You, you know? got messages everywhere through music, through the yeah. Bible, through yeah. I'm about to pray before I die. Man, uh, we're going to, man, RIP to Big D, but uh, we're going to move forward, man. Um, I, on a lighter note, Honeycomb Brazy is home. Man, Alabama. He just hey, he just made it home. I, I already inboxed everybody. Man, I you trying to get him on a Mo three out? If he do that, you gonna try to get him on Mo three out? If he do the song today, it's done. The whole album done. The whole album done. Cause you needed somebody to replace that other one song. Verse. Yeah. So you, like you, you took you took Boosie off that one. Yeah, no, I can't keep him off. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he say not to release one? I'm gonna keep asking. Him. So how are you gonna release the album if he told you not to release? I got that about one? nineteen songs. Oh, you're just gonna put that one in the background. I'm gonna put it in the background. Oh, okay. Man, so do you think uh, Honeycomb Brazy said cool with with Jay Prince and and Jazz, but he he was kind of he kind of distanced himself from certain situations. Like, where is where? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Let, let the game begin. Let, let the game begin. He, it, it, he better rap. Yeah, he he, right. he want to go to the studio today. He yeah. said it. I want to go I today. I need him to go. He need to have a phone to go right to studio now. Today. I'm going to say, man, I know you. I know somebody, I, y'all, I know he needs some money. I got some plugs. I got we a plug. We need to call him. I can get him. I got. I just thought about that. I, thought, you I, I had a jail number. No, I got, a, I got a plug. I know we can get him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, sometimes them plugs, they, they be trying to put their plug price No, 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 oh. my nigga. He okay, ain't even He ain't about that. Yeah. He ain't about But I definitely got I definitely. Y'all had his prison number. to him. And uh, men were texting everything, but oh, uh, it's time. Okay, well, I'm a dang show. Yeah. When we get offline, I'm gonna I'm I'm hit. Yeah. I'm, but I I'm like him you. though. I, I like him though. He stay like he stand for principles. Uh, I like uh, I like all the niggas that just got jail. Uh, finesse, you know, finesse just did a big uh, Mo three uh, verse and video. Uh, That's gonna be hard. You can get both of them on there. But That's like uh, crazy. Big Yavo, you gonna put Big Yavo on nah, there? Nah, Big Yavo fell off. You you gonna put him in the fall off more? Yeah, he done. A lot of people said that Big X sound like Big Yavo. He do. Well, Big X did. He took the he, he, the Big X don't sound like him. Yavo got his style from Yayo and CJ Casino. That's who he got his style from. Yeah, that type of rap. Yeah. And no hook. Yeah. You only can last that long with no hook. CJ Casino fell off of him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? CJ Casino. Yeah. Yeah, but he still could do something and come back. Nah, it's a rap. Once you fall off, it's a rap. Man, you crazy, man. Well, name one nigga you fell off and came back. You thought that 2 Chain was gone when no, he was Titty no, Boy. No, yeah, you no, would have. No, no, you no, no, thought no, no. Titty Boy, they had really, they no. had fell off. But he but he, he never fell off. Who? Uh, 2 Chain. Titty Boy fell off, man. No, Titty Boy had to remove himself titty from that group. Titty Boy fell off. Titty Boy had to remove himself from that group. 
Man, Titty Boy fell off. I seen the other dude in Atlanta. We were down there. Remember he came in there and talked to us? Mm-hmm. The one that was with him. The I, never, was, I never he seen him. He was in the room and, with him. And he was, the biggest, he was the biggest nigga in his hood. He was the king of his hood. So, uh, titty Boy. So at the end of the day, he could fall off. So, so, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What other nigga have you seen fall off came back on? That's it. I don't know. He was a dope boy. He was a big nigga. He had a million dollars. Once you got that money and to play with, you could fall off a thousand times. And come right back. And come right back. He never really was fell on. <laughs> because at the end of the day, they knew Lil Wayne was on their hook. I still didn't know Titty Boy verse. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I can't remember. You, you can't even either, but when he came with that, true. <laughs> yeah, that nigga killed yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. We on that picture right there. That, you see I had the true on? Right there, yeah, I had to, I got the, I got the. Yeah. That's why he picked. He walked up to me. He was like, "Man, you got the, you you got yeah. it on." I yeah. had a, that's about eight hundred dollar outfit. They still can stitch it. Yeah, they they hand stitched that that jacket in that I had oh, on man. right there. Yeah, that's hand stitch. That's hand stitch. They hand stitch shit out of. Boy, you a shot in the motherfucker. Yeah, that yeah, nigga yeah, six yeah. by six four. Yeah, that's a tall nigga. But at the end of the day, man, like like when you when you look at uh like. Like all the different things that been going on with the music, do you think Dallas? How, how do you feel about Dallas music, man? Let's be real. Uh, Half Pint say all the Dallas music suck. Rappers suck. Nah, nah. Let me That's what he said today. Yeah, I heard and, him today. And, 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 listen, 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 listen. Rappers, I'm, I'm, a, I'm totally against you. With you with it? Wow, nah, I fuck Terry Blue. What? Half Pint for saying it. That, oh, you not with him? Nah, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh. Uh, they never ever put nobody on to express how they feel about Dallas music. Okay. And, 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 and listen, it's a, because at the end of the day, they don't know what to do or how to do it to do it. Half Pint Channel is, was made out beef. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then Terry from New Orleans came around and he was just messy Terry. So at the end of the day, you don't know talent. I don't even like this nigga right now. Kevin got bands. He should, he's up there. They should be pushing him. He was on the live with Yeah, 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 yeah. They should be pushing. I was on the Twitter. They, should, well, yeah, they should be pushing Big X. Every, every blouse, they should be pushing Big X heavily because we need to get him very to the top because if he gets extremely to the top, then the labels get the call of me saying, who else next out of there? Now, I can I can tax <laughs> $2 million, $3 million and everybody eat and everybody have a word. Uh, 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 everybody be wealthy. But at the end of the day, if not... Dallas at a standstill. If I try to get somebody signed right now, shit, Dallas ain't been making no noise. Shit, what they want, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand? What? Do you blame Half Pint though? Because Half Pint used to do the videos. A lot of them, like he used to be working, man. No, 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 no. He got water. Do the videos just don't work no more. His channel, it got watered down. And that's all people was using at one time. We need to go straight half pint, half pint, half pint, half pint, half pint. So now Half Pint don't really know what to do. Half Pint never knew real talent. You know what I'm saying? But he's doing behind the bar. Yeah, behind the bar and shit behind the bar and behind the bar for people to pay to get behind the bar. You want to you want to pay to get on this behind the bar? Come on. Then you doing these dumb ass music reviews and all the music reviews doing get you rich. Ain't nobody win and nobody get their music heard at the at, at all. So at the end of the day, Dallas don't know what source of, uh source of outlet to go to. So they 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 go for Terry Blue and Terry Blue saying they music suck. Then they go over to Half Pint to get on behind the bar and they stuck behind the bar because they don't pay all this damn money. And they can and they bar and do shit, but they, they just got drunk at the bar. So now you got it. Now you go to the half pipe videos, and he like he just throwing it on there. He throwing about ten videos on there at a time, and he basically he just getting paid. So basically he just worried about his wealth and his money, and Terry worried about their wealth and their money, and they don't know what other outlet to go because now this dude over here telling people on a big ass platform that millions of people go here see that Dallas music suck. What the fuck is you talking about? So he ain't never had nobody sign no deal. He ain't never seen a nigga sign a deal and go home happy to change their lives and their mama lives. Yeah. So you don't understand the feeling. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell my artist shit. So or my artist them, I, I say shit to make somebody motivate them. But you don't. But they keep saying this over and over again. That shit suck. That shit suck. Man, come on, listen, 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 y'all. I'm with the rappers. I stand with the people, with my arms stretched out from this, from 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 the ground zero to the labels, and all, all I'm trying to do is, is keep on coming right here, coming right here, and connect to them as one. 
So at the end of the day, I know y'all feel like y'all ain't got no outlives and y'all don't have to pick no side of anything in the streets that anything y'all ever seen that, 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 that's been done. I'm here for the city of Dallas. I'm here as one, one Dallas. So if this nigga on this side need help, come on through. Wow. Because I'm going to help you get deals. But at the end of the day, man, y'all stop putting y'all trust in these bloggers that y'all only feeding and paying their rent. These niggas stand in one bedroom apartments and bullshit ass Lexus that's scraping the ground and, and barely can crank up. So I'm just going to be real. So y'all don't let these type of niggas to discourage y'all for, 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 for becoming great as, as, as great or the dreams you have. You niggas do need to work. But don't let nobody who ain't never helped a nigga sign a deal. Get in y'all mind that y'all never can make it and y'all shit suck. Wow. So you you seen Half Pint go up to a no jumper. How did you like that interview? Did you see it? Yes. And nah, I seen little clips of it. Adam called me. I probably been going and, and whenever I What did you think about Half Pint's interview? He went up. I told him he, uh, he had a why? hat on. A he had his glasses. Why? Why are you calling the man that? Man, he had he the hat on, had, had the glasses. glasses with the matching outfit all the way down to his ankles. Come on, But that man. was his style at one time. That wasn't his damn style. He went a long time the, ago, he used to always wear yeah, them white that, glasses but and yeah, all But that. I know Kango had with the matching, he like he had a big T hookup on. With this bullshit ass grill. He did. Just be yourself, man. Be yourself. You went up there and said, okay, I need to dress like this, dress like this. Then you shit it on the whole city. You shitted on the whole city. He asked about Big S, this old fat ass nigga. This day. He was talking so bad about Big S. He never cracked and said, nah, hell no. Nah. You ain't finna talk about the hardest nigga that's in Dallas right now. He talks about Big X on here. Yeah, I know why you keep talking yeah, about Big X. Because Big X never came behind the bar. Okay, okay. Big but X never came behind the bar and he, he was upset about fuck it. Fuck that boy, Big X. He ain't the boy, baby. Fuck him. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Man, we need to praise this man. And he feel like him and him is friends because they talk. Yeah, they talk all but the time. He ain't, but he ain't yeah, come support uh, uh, him. Man, he, man he, we he, love Big X to plug listen, in, in Texas, bro. Listen, listen, listen. He's on the road. And ro he love Big X to Yeah, plug. yeah, but he's on the road. He, he never, had probably never been on the road with no artist that was big. You understand? Big X is on the road. Every time I call them, they on the road. Yes. I call yeah. uh, Rose Summer and yeah. I was like, the X in the road. They, yeah. they, they, they trying to get to it, man. Yeah, they on, he on the road. Shout so, out to them boys. You know, at the end of the day, uh, man, we, we can't. if you ain't never been on the road, you don't know what the road life feel like. Half Pint has a lot of reasons, though, these niggas. He, he supported Big X early on, man. Yeah, I understand. He supported a lot of people early on. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you understand that? And ain't no wrong with it. But man, come on, man, you just taking these people money at this time. You giving them false hope, and then when they got hope, you tell them, "Nah, this shit suck." Well, he went to Houston and he did a uh, yeah, his yeah thing. I know. So what? what and, the, and he put to go to East Texas. What you did was you used Dallas. You used Dallas and invited everybody up there to blow your platform up. So now you can hit the road. So basically, you did it just to, to you. You chasing the bag, not the dream. You understand what I'm saying? Don't you think it helped the artists, though, to get exposure when they go on this show? He got millions of subscribers. Uh, It do, but it don't. Explain it don't. Because sometimes you can water down your platform by just chasing a bag. If you got 40 niggas a day paying you to get on this, right? But you got this one kid over here, right, that sleep in the car, right, that don't got the money to get on your channel. But he got the real talent. So you put him on your channel, right? And people are getting tired of seeing that uh, 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 post a video, post a video. You know, the subscription, the media subscription, post a video, post a video. They get tired of seeing that because they used to bullshit it, then they just leave your channel alone. We got to have somebody with a channel to come with straight, raw shit. Just like the rap and I would say, everybody can't get in. <laughs> everybody can't. Yeah. I ain't saying everybody can't come up here. Yeah, I ain't saying. Oh, yeah. everybody, everybody can't come up here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to Prez, yeah. man. So, Shout I, out I, to I, DJ Nightcap. That shit funny. Like what J, do you say, man? Everybody can't come up here. <laughs> like uh, like Jay Money Channel, that's excluded. It's excluded. Yo, yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you water yourself down and your brand down chasing the bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that I, I get it, man. But don't you think I, he can revive it? He's trying to learn how to. I think I heard him tell uh, No Jumper he wanted to try to remonetize his channel. I heard that when he went. He, he trying to he trying to figure it out, man. You know, if he could get that figured out, then it probably motivated him to keep pushing. Now he talented, like he man. This dude is dope, man. Half ain't know a lot, bro. No, I'm saying he's talented, but then at the end of the day, we gotta understand these guys. 
we are part of the world. So we're not just competing with local shit. So we got to compete with the world. You know, the half pints that's in other cities, shout out to, what's his name, Wicca, Wikipedia out there in uh, Memphis. He's like a half pint out there, a million, million views. He got him a podcast right now. He said, Rain, I hired a comedian. Because right now, let's be real. Comedian and podcast is getting more money than rappers. This interview right here gonna do more numbers than half the rappers on say I mean say uh half the rappers on half paint channel today. When this drop and half paint drop by five videos, this gonna have more views. So you just gotta evolve in the situation and what's uh what's going on around just your surrounding. So you know, uh, it ain't just about putting videos on nigga pages no more. Well he he actually jumped on with uh Charleston them and You can't uh, ride the wave. He jumped on they they yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you can't ride the wave. You got to be the wave. You got to be the wave. Yeah, that's what set me apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. I get it. Like, like I think about a lot of times, like when you look at the way Dallas looks. What about our women rappers, bro? What's up with our women rappers? Where where they at? I think they birthday. We had like we had like uh, they birthday. Lil Brooke. Yeah, we had uh, Sensei. Sensei. And we Chani. had Erica Banks and Erica Channing. Banks. What happened to all our girls, man? Man, they was too sassy. What? <laughs> what was a Cuban doll? What's she from? They all had little at Percy. I mean, uh, Prissy attitudes and thought they was rich, and I already made it. And all of them got yo girl. I forgot what was the girl. Pretty pressure, oh, she, all of them. She never made it up there for days. Yeah. She didn't get up on that high level. I didn't even ever just push her to the level. You never did get to the Why did, do you think it was so difficult for you to get her going? Uh, it's just the expectations of the girl she's seen in front of her. She she did what you asked, though, when it came to talk it's about the, the pain. It, yeah, it's just the baby and all that. You know, them girls, we just naming them. Them got babies. No, little Brooke got a baby. Oh, she, and look what happened to her when she had the baby. Look, Brooke had the baby uh, almost at the peak. And I splurge. <laughs> and what happened? Nothing happened after that. She quit. Def Jam not, dropped her. Yeah, something nothing happened after that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you at the peak, if you get if you get bo booming before the baby, then you got a chance, right? But then after the baby, it's harder. Damn. Well, so you don't think that we don't? You think you could take a girl artist if you got the right one out of Dallas? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, not out of Dallas. I don't want she one can't one. be from Dallas. No, nah, because I don't want no, her, I don't want no her sexual life or who her baby daddy is. Cause they gonna be tripping. They gonna be tripping, blowing for I don't know <laughs> everything. <laughs> They don't want you to be yeah. hey, Well, y'all at the studio yeah, studio Yeah it's, it's two in the morning <laughs> Nah baby stop Do this like this Do it like that You know what I'm saying Don't let me be able To shoot no video mm -hmm. Turn around Show a little ass And come back And walk this way And this way Here on the phone Show a little ass What y'all doing I'm gonna come up there Now he looking <laughs> He looking crazy at her And looking crazy at me I can't deal with this shit uh -uh. Is, Can Nina Loretta do it uh, uh, Nina uh, Loretta Nina Loretta Is she uh, hard um, No no listen she the hardest girl in Dallas right now. Yeah. Nina Loretta lost a lot of time fucking with, uh, uh, what was her husband's name? I don't know his name, but I know they broke up. Yeah. Yeah, the Fort Worth nigga that's in the feds. She, she lost by four or five years. Messing around. Dumb. She didn't, yeah, that was, but she still got it, though. You think you could work with her? Nah, that's a wrap. She, I mean, she fine and grown. She, she's cute, fine. She got, she's talented. She grown, grown, though. You can't coach somebody grown, grown. Yeah, you, you don't think you could, you, but the internet, the internet don't care, man. Nah, you, might hit a, you might hit a lick. Okay, well, I'm not trying to hit a lick. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to hit a stain. I'm trying to stain something that's gonna be last forever. So, what age group like you? Would I work need a girl with? right now, 19, 2021. 20, That's who run the games right now. Sexy red, Christine, Christine. She doing a thing, yeah. Christian Rock. Christian Rock. Uh, uh. Uh, what's the other girl's name? Uh, Glorilla? Glorilla. You know, all them. You know, they all oh, under 25. Yeah. Except for Sukiyana nasty ass. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, she older, ain't she? She old, but she been doing it for a while. But she got on. She hit? Yeah, but the, I mean, it depends on what type of hit you said. She got on by, by straight downgrading herself. She said she put her tongue in a grown man's ass. Damn. Yeah. 
So you know, it's 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 if a girl come out and say I I lick toes, I suck on your on my man toes every night and have a video of her sucking toes, she gonna win. It's just how far you want to. It's just how far you want it. Or if a, if a girl come out of there and say she fuck homeless man for fun, what? she gonna win. I mean, cause it, cause that's it how, gotta be something radical. That's how it's going. You got you got grown women right now that work at banks and teachers is fucking on camera on OnlyFans and quitting their job. You got good girls for money. That's straight up fame. Fucking on camera. That you know of for a yes, fact. Yes, you know for a fact. So you so it, so girls the girls is going is straight this downgrading, they said disgracing their whole family history, what their grandma have taught them just for a quick dollar that ain't gonna last a month. So why you think why you think this is happening? Cause they we ain't got no more we need some we need some shows like good times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no shows. <laughs> like, what was the mama good time name? Florida Evans. Yeah, Florida Evans. James. Yeah, we, yeah, we got James. We ain't got no Genos. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. Yeah, no yeah, 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 ain't got nothing None no more. Uh uh. Uh uh. So, no, so, you know, the times have changed where, man, these girls is going crazy. I know women that sit there. I can't believe it, though. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I got good girls or fucking on camera. I remember when people used to be so disgraced. I used to steal my daddy booty talk to tapes. You remember? Booty talk? Yeah, yeah booty 13, talk. Yeah, all that. 12. So all them black girls and Pinky, I bet Pinky, uh, Pinky, all them black girls and Pinky, they used to get shamed. But that's okay, though, because they was the only select few girls, West Coast in the uh, production, of, uh, uh, that used to get shamed. There used to be about 30 of them in the world, right? Now, they don't give a fuck. Everybody do it. Everybody do, and they and it's like it's like it's like this. You you guys are not a production team. You don't have a medical team on on standby. You niggas is hood niggas is filming with their phones and and all them fucking raw. I seen a girl only fans that that. Let me go and check her out right quick. So I'm sitting there in my bed like he ain't got no damn condom on. He ain't got no condom. Ain't none of them got no condom on. She done hit by forty niggas on her tip with no condom on. And and and, and, and it, it, that's why that's why especially in Houston. Houston. It show where they from and all nah, that. Yeah, no, yeah, you show where they from. You see, you get personal. You, you can call them for ten minutes. Uh, uh, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever called any of them for yeah, ten I, minutes? I'll make sure they wasn't sending my money. They, oh, I, listen, <laughs> in, in, in Houston, that's the, they SCD shot up. I know it did because they got too many fine girls out there on OnlyFans. Only and they all fucking each other. Everybody fucking each other raw. That's 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 just a crazy that's the craziest shit I've seen in my life. Damn, I gotta ask you about um uh, Wack One Hundred, man, he say Boosie a rat and Snoop Dogg a rat. He just said that yesterday, like like Yeah, yeah, what well, yeah, Wack, Wack, I don't You and him, y'all y'all went head to head, so and I know you and Boosie your boy, I just wanna ask you like like Yeah, he got me on there trying to talk about Boosie. I ain't no I ain't gonna do it. Talk about Boosie. Boosie was too good to you. Yeah, yeah. Boosie looked out for you. Boosie misunderstood. I talked to him about an hour, about a month ago on the phone. Yeah. He misunderstood? Yeah. He just like me. They just took his IG again. Yeah, I know. He just like me. He just, you know, uh, he don't trust nobody. They took it. You gotta think about this. That's a person who was raised by Pimp C. And then he went to jail and. All the murders and, and shit he done seen his whole life. And, you know, I wouldn't trust nobody neither. Well, you know, like I said, I hope him and his brother get it together. I don't know if they ever will, though. With the, You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that will ever. ever uh, it should, though. Money shouldn't come come between your, your bro brother and me. Yeah, that money, motherfucker. Money will do it, won't it? Money, motherfucker. Trust tell me. You, tell you, me. Is, is, is you, I got to ask you about this, man. And, and you can, I got to ask you about it. Trap Boy Freddie just went to jail and Kenny B. Two people that I've seen you having issues with. Oh, Kenny B gone? Yeah, he got four years. Mm. I don't think he, he ain't left, yet, he ain't but left he get, yet. But he going to get him. He already signed for him. And he's still standing strong. Oh, he, 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 until you get on that bluebird. No, <laughs> no, he's still standing strong. On that bluebird, that bluebird, the motherfucker. Yeah, you been down there, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how was it for you when you first went to prison? Oh, 
when you first got there? You what did you think when you was going? Mm, yeah, I was a little scared, but uh, you were nervous. I had it kind of good though. You knew somebody. Now, uh, people know me for being with them rappers. I just came out the dance run, so you know everybody wanted to be a rapper. Now, if I go, I got a little easier. Everybody want to be a rapper. Everybody think they got a chance of being a rapper. So my goal, my goal, and, and what I do is I sell them a dream to, to, to I sell them a dream my whole damn bid. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy, dude. You in there telling them? Even the guards was in there rapping to me. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stupid. He sell them a dream like they gonna be rappers when they get yeah, out. Be rappers, yeah, yeah. When I go out this hole, we gonna yeah. all blow up. Yeah, I'm gonna blow you. Hey, get my number, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga they beating on that table. Yeah, yeah beating on that table. And yeah, I, you hear this? I got it good too while we eating. Man, play that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> we spray now, now I'm spraying oh, with the rappers. The rappers and, and don't let me find one of the rich rappers. You know oh what I'm man, he, he ready. We eating all night long. <laughs> all of them are rapping with me. Man, we, yeah, everybody. Who was rapping. the hardest rapper that you ran into? Literally, like which one of them guys down there that you remember? Like that nigga, that nigga got some. Accidentally, you ran up on it, right? Uh, at that time. They all was like on some Houston shit. So <laughs> it was all Houston nah, niggas. All that shit was bullshit. Oh, it was some Dallas niggas. They, they, they was some Dallas niggas, but you know everybody was just they were trying to find to the Houston road. Yeah, the Houston road and freestyling and all that shit. And you know that's before I, I, I came across a nigga that could sing and then rap and sing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was a different time out there. Like you know, did you? I mean, you know, God played tricks with you, man, because you came out and you went and started, you know, looking for uh, Mo Three, right? Yeah. Like no 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 I didn't look for him I was a rapper you was rapping I don't think I was I remember was, yeah yeah I was in a, I thought you said you you heard nah, it no girl yeah, yeah girl you but, to but before that I was the rapper I, mm -hmm. I came you for the drop them hope like listen, I'm gonna come down listen, would you to come down there I was stealing everybody else songs and I, was, yeah, I heard the jail <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you remember yeah, them, yeah huh? I remember them. yeah 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 <laughs> I was stealing everybody else songs <laughs> yeah so that's crazy I was the rapper. And, that's, and, and you know One thing about it though If if I, I thought about something The other day When I was thinking about it, I said if Mo3 was uh, uh, Still here What do you think He'll think about The Dallas music scene We'll be bigger than that They gonna follow the way They gotta speed it up They gonna follow the way though I ain't gonna lie to you uh, If 3 was here then it was still, It'd be bigger Because they have Somebody to look up to They need We need Yeah yeah I ain't talking about His music uh, they, 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 I don't think They're gonna be but he's entertaining. Like he entertaining. Like some of my new rappers, I'm like, bro, y'all don't even post. You ain't go live, nigga. Mm. What do you think you gonna do? I had to tell a nigga the other day. Go tell me, uh, I think we gonna do like that. Bro, you ain't even got a million views. Damn. What the fuck is you talking about? It's time to hustle. Yeah, yeah. He, so you know, at the end of the day, if three was her, then you know, three was her. We ain't be thinking because people be following his lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And with trap gone, uh, it's a new wave coming through. Yeah, I just follow my lead. It's a new wave. <laughs> it's yeah. a new wave coming through. Yeah, it's a, it's a new wave. It's gonna it's gonna be what what do you what do you first see like like. I want to see a real like a solid. When you like see a female artist come up out of D town, that'd be hard. Cause we ain't never really just had no like we we had Erica of course. Man, if, we, if I could find a, a if I could find a Hispanic Mexican woman that could talk to his shit, that'd be good. Have like, you been looking for one? Yeah, you know you gonna follow my lap. Like you know, you got to go to all them strip clubs because you have a lot of aspiring rappers in them no strip clubs. I don't want no stripper. You don't? Hell no. The stripper ain't going to know how to stay down. You know what? But you just, want, you just want a regular girl who can spit. Yeah. I'm talking about this shit. Can she jug, though? But like if she in the streets, like trying to do little hustles. And that ain't going to work. <laughs> you got to get out the streets. Yeah, it ain't going to work. <laughs> I'd rather fuck work at Walmart. Let me ask you something, and I know you know how how the day's time is. Like DJ Academics, man, I, I have to bring him up because I've been talking about him lately. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Sauce Santana, you know, threatening him. Oh, the gay dude, the, yeah, the, the gay, he, dude. Yeah, the big gay dude. He wasn't. He That's had no a big old gay, gay nigga. That's what I'm saying. What do you think? What would you do if you was put in that situation? Put the gay dude. Yeah, well, a gay dude attacked you verbally and said he want to, you know, beat you up and have sex with you and all kind of stuff. And see, I don't know. See, let me tell y'all the story, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm terrified of the hulk of, of gay niggas. Have you ever been hit on? Nah, but I'm like, <laughs> one thing about gay niggas, they fight hard. Yeah. Especially big old fat nigga, they fight hard. Mother love, I knew one. Yeah, 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 they, they love, fight hard. Mother right? love will beat yeah, your head. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they got nothing to lose. They got so much anger built up inside <laughs> of them. Like, that's the worst thing to do is, is come across a gay nigga that that, 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 that want to fight. So something. when you seen him threatening him, what did you, what did you think? Well, the gay like, nigga don't threatening him? Do don't yeah, do nothing. Yeah, don't even do nothing about the gay nigga. He still, he crying. He crying. I actually got emotional. Yeah. Academics, that hurt him, man. Yeah. Hey. See, let me tell y'all a story. Say, them type of gay dudes I kind of respect because they're going to be upset. It's the undercover. See, one day we had a show, right? We had a show down in the Texas Relay. So we all was in a hotel. And, they, and we all finna get on the bus because, you know, it's certain times people are performing. So I'm looking for Old Boy Prince, right? Yeah. And Old uh, Boy Prince. Yeah, yeah. C4S, yeah, C4S. C4S. Yeah, I'm looking for Old Boy Prince. I'm like, I'm like, the fuck is he here? You know what I'm saying? So they calling me like, where he is, where he is. I'm like, I'm looking for him. I'm trying to look for him. So I'm going from room to room. So boom. I end up going to uh, the suite that we had, right? And so I'm like, okay, I'm open the door. Damn. So I see head paint in there. Right with his shirt off. And when I opened the door, the rooms, the whole room smelled like pure ass. Right? What the hell? <laughs> it pure ass. And old boy Prince came out, came out like like fixing himself. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> look at my wife looking at Rain. Look how she looking at it. Why you looking at it like that, baby? Look how she looking. And now that's a true story. At least it's a true story. <laughs> my wife looking at you like, so what the I hell are you saying? So I shut the door. And I kind of hit that and I said, I think somebody just got hit with the stanky leg. Oh man, this nigga. What the hell? Why would you say that about me? Why are you coming you for old boy Prince? Why are you coming for old boy Prince? Cuz, let me tell you. And half pint. <laughs> That's a true story. And half pint. That is, uh, how, okay, okay, where's the proof? That's where's true the video tape? Right? 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 Where's the video tape? What, I'm gonna well, tape it? Yeah, psh, why not? This, this, you you no, ain't got no proof no, except from what you said. No, no, I can't tape it. Listen, I'm telling you about old boy Prince. Cool guy, but he, see, that's, that's 10 y'all years ago. Y'all talked over here. Now, I seen hey, y'all you, talking. You seen him talking to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he wanted so to talk to So I set him up. I said something on a plat- platform, and I just sat back and see what he going to do, right? What did and you say? I said, I told a nigga, the nigga said, uh, where you get this publishing from? I said, I've been getting published since the stanky leg. Just not saying you're yeah, getting published yeah, from the stanky leg Yeah, since stanky leg, since, since gutter bitch, since all that, right? So he came on there saying Rainwater's lying. He don't get none of our publishing, right? And I set him up for that. Because now you need my help and you ask me for my help because the chick that you just got, you ran out of, right? So the young artists need to understand because they're getting lead by What do you mean by you chick that you just his got? Chick, he got? He just sold a song, a single deal. That with Mike which Prince. chick? Who? That, Mike uh, Prince. The, the, the chick. Right. Oh, the chick. Yeah, oh, they yeah. said chick. No, no, the, okay. a chick with Mike Prince uh, okay. with a song. That's right? when she walked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gone. The money gone. Yeah. So boom. So you know when he seen me there at the door, he was begging me and asking me to help his artist. And you know one artist over there, I want to sign. Yeah. Because I know. I know I could. I know I can get them a deal, ASAP. You know what I'm saying? But see, what it is is the young artist got to understand who can help them, who can not help them. See, right now they're following the lead. They following the lead behind Old Boy Prince. They're not, he not, he ain't set them, he ain't helped them set up and get no BMIs, no publishing chicks, no none of that. He's putting everything in his uh, ass cap and BMI and just running through his own channel. So at the end of the day, and it's no problem, but you fucking these young kids. These kids are, uh, you got a clique full of stars, but you, but they're around you as a promotion team to help you make money. You're a 35 year old dancing TikTok rapper. You need to just manage or assign people and teach them the game so you don't end up like they don't end up like you. Because basically the song that you got you sold the song for with Mike Prince, what's the song called? Miles Prince. You actually walk. use Mike Fresh, yeah, Mike, Fred, Mike Fred. You actually use them just for TikTok promotions. You got all them kids over there, and so you use them to all them dance off your song to blow your song up to where it's at. I mean, that's cool, but you got you got a clique full of people that's under 23, 24, 25, I mean 22, 23 years old. Man, if you give them a chance, they they the new they the new eyes of Dallas. 
They are. But I think with with the way he push and promote him, he does a lot. Like, they wouldn't, a lot of those dances, a lot of those concepts, the, the drive, I've seen, you know, when Joker was with them, and then Joker went with Carl, of course, but I'm just saying, they look like they're working. They are making uh, different people uh, see them. Okay, I understand that, but it's what, what different people were. Like TikTok. It, okay, and all okay, the, okay, they they got a lot of followers. If you got followers and, and chicks, it's totally different. We got to stop thinking so small in the city of Dallas. And listen, they, they, if, they, they, if if a person sit there and see them and say, I am not a rapper, I am 100% behind them. You just got a six-figure chick that you told me about today. I would have blew 75, 100, or 75 to 100,000 on just them. Because I know what they could become. But sometimes in the city of that, I see right now, a lot of people don't have no leadership in being led, and a lot of people don't even have no managers. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we gotta stop being so small thinking and think about and, and, and sit back and think about the world. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because because them being TikTok promotion for every song that you drop is it, is not gonna help the culture. You are 35 years old. 35 years old and still wanna be the front line of a dancing group. You only see that in Dallas. You going to high school, 35 years old, you popping your hips with them. You need to sit back with a suit and tie and say, yeah, I used to, I used to, I used to have a second leg song. How y'all doing this and that? This is my group right here. That's why I be so mad about the situation. So people be like, oh, he, you be hating on people. Nah, I don't be hating on people. I know because if your group can, can, can blow up and Big X can blow up, the next time somebody blow up, I'm charging $5 million to $10 million because this the, this the hottest city going. this the hottest thing going on in the city. Wow. But with them keep on having viral videos after viral. viral. The, viral. Listen, hold uh-huh. on. Uh-huh. <laughs> viral after viral, right? Because everybody's watching social media, even the big corporations and companies. So for them to know who to sign, if they're watching and seeing this, this person going viral all the time, don't you think that that's putting no, their eyes no, on no, them? No, no, no. They're coming for single deals. He took a six figure single deal instead of having the mind frame of six, uh, having a, 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 a six figure or a seven figure. Label deal, okay, for wow. everybody. That's the difference. I would have sit there and said, "Why would you take this single deal when you got a click full of stars?" You Maybe have a, that's the only thing that was on the table. No, 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 no. You can negotiate. You can talk, but 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 if they teach, treat you like a peon, it's like me walking the hotel room with a girl and say, "Okay, I got five hundred dollars," and she take that instead of saying, "I don't want your money. I want to." I want to be with you. Now, if she tricked me to be with me and be in partnership with me, then she might get $500 a day. From doing shopping to steaks to, to flying, flying across the world, but you took this $500 because you thought this $500 was a shit. Not knowing I got a bank account with seven figures, but you took you took damn near three figures. Mm-hmm. Thinking it was shit, so you should sit there and say, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got a click full of stars. I need everybody come through. Not no hundred thousand dollars. He told me that I took. I got a six figure deal, man. At least I blow six figures a month. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To, to get to get to the point where I need to go. So at the end of the day, come on, we got to think bigger because that's the first thing y'all see. At Dallas people, they went viral. The fuck is that? Yeah, they went viral. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> listen, we gotta stop saying that. Good. We gotta stop saying. Listen, going viral is cool, but we we just we just came off the biggest run the Dallas Tech's ever seen. We got Cash Page back here, and, and it's not it's not them. It's the bloggers. Well, how do you think Dallas bloggers are doing? <laughs> now they're doing terrible now. It's over. What we get? What we get? What we get? Man, most bloggers posted trap getting locked up last week. Then all the other people that dropped songs last week. So if you were artist that dropped a song last week, you was overshadowed by trap getting locked up. That's that's goofy. But that happens all the time. Like you could have a hot like. We a podcast. We could have a hot video, and we schedule it to come out. But when on, unfor- 
you know, unfortunate situation pop up that's going to take the clout from your video, it has happened. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I had something that went, I remember, yeah. I don't remember what it was, but dog passed happened. away. It shut my whole thing down. But, but, uh, it'll, uh, sh- it'll shut you down. They should have came back and sit there and said, okay, with with them being locked up, I mean, with, with him being locked up, we need to find the next one. Instead, they went on there and said, Dallas music scene suck. Y'all didn't help Dallas music scene get big. I didn't think of it that way. Yes, you should have. You should have uplifted these people. This man locked up. There's one of the pioneers locked up. Then Mo three gone. Then come on, we we need to find the next one. Let me ask you this, and, and this is totally off subject, but who wins in the verses uh, between uh, Don, Don Chief, Chief and, and Twisted Black? That's this week. It's Saturday. Ten songs. I want your honest opinion. Now, this is something that I'm. I, I've been helping them. You know, for the drop, they they did an interview on here. They talked about who felt like they was gonna win. Uh, ten songs. Dun. You think you think Don can take him out? Where is it at? In Fort, Fort Worth. Worth. Dun. Even in Fort Worth. Mm. Why you say Don? Don T. Man, T can keep going. He but only, only can do ten like songs. ten songs. How many Twisted Black can do? Ten. ten. But but what? So you bring your hottest ten, and I bring my man, hottest ten, and we go head to head. That nigga cheap for motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think Twisted Black got 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 to that level. I'm going. I'm going. You gonna go check yeah, it out? I'm going. Yeah, I ain't know that. I'm going. Yeah, that's, that's this. And they, that's the first verses because Dallas yeah. never had a verses before. They sponsored. They, they got some chairs. First, they gonna set it up. It gonna yeah, be, this would be the first. Sure you, I ain't going. So make sure you do some videos so you can send it so I can I can watch it on. Why your, you not going? I don't be going nowhere, man. Uh, Me and my wife ain't been getting that crowd like that. I gotta be, I gotta be VIP. You, you I, I don't even want you. These niggas can't be too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We don't be up in them crowds, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. So Why not? I just don't, man. But you, you think, you think? I can't believe you think Dunn just gonna take off with it like that. He got a couple of songs. Yeah, that's a cool. couple. <laughs> yeah, but Twisted Black got albums, Hustler, and and and, and uh, uh, you know, I'm a fool with it. The new stuff I, he got I, out I, now. I, I knew you gonna say I'm a fool with it. That's what he got. <laughs> just like you gonna say for Dunn Chief, you gonna say Cush in the Bowl and and, and swag and, 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 and that Dallas the dirty D. Nah, it, oh yeah, nah. Don't do your because you might say some of my. So you like, it's still Girl, gonna give be, it that nigga. It's gonna be on the stage who got the most energy though. Yeah, the man's done. The Jeez. performance gonna go. He ain't gonna lose his composure. I told him that the other I day. Said, I said Dunn ain't gonna lose his composure. I said the only person Chief will can lose to is who? From here? Yeah. Who? Tom 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 coming. He on the, he, he gonna be there tonight too. He gonna perform. He performing tonight. Yeah, perform I'm, tonight. I'm and OTB fast lane. OTB performing. fast lane will be there. Oh, my doubt. Oh yeah, he was just here. Fast lane. Yeah, yeah I he, just dropped his interview yesterday. Oh my doubt. Yeah man. Oh yeah, they, they, well, that's a bad ass little show. Yeah, that's mm. gonna be. I thought I thought uh, and it's only like twenty or thirty dollars to get in. That's it. Yeah, the mm. women get in for free. The yeah. first two hundred. First two hundred. That's a, that's a old nigga throwing the show. <laughs> the women get in free. He, he don't, yeah, he don't know these new girls got old fans. They, they got yeah, more yeah. money than them. Yeah, yeah, they said that. They, they said that on the show. Yeah. Twisted said that. Said these women nowadays is a totally different breed from back in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause he been gone for seventeen years. Yeah, that nigga, they're what gone. What you think about him, man? Like dealing with. Him. I know you went over there. And, and I can't did. explain shit to him. Why well, he trying to figure it out? I know. Now nah, my dog. I talked to him all the time. He just he 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 got. A, I told him. He listened to you. He'll listen. I told him. I said, "Look, you bigger than rap now." Yeah. Oh, you gave him that speech. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I know that speech. You know, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, Rain, I know, Rain, but but still had that producer Kyle. <laughs> and then I said, I said, listen, to, to, before you drop your album, man, my album out. It is. Damn, you should have held it. Cause you didn't get the promotion. It's not, and I and I know you understand, but he if, if he drop an album right now, right, then on the flip side he come back and say, "Hey, it's Fort Worth, I got twenty thousand for the hottest artist in the city to come sign to sign to me, right? He gonna get more. He gonna get more love on this post than this post. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think about how many people tagging the hottest artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you say some of the stuff on here that just, well, I've heard you say some disturbing, some very disturbing things. You said something that, you see that man right there? 
Tupac. Mm -hmm. You see him? Yeah, young boy got you him. Had, you had, you know, I, I heard the statement. I just, I just cut the damn video off. Young boy got more plaques to him. I said, man, is this man crazy? Young boy is more. Do you understand what this man was doing and the tonality and the and the and and how he rapped and the way he touched people's lives and the people, the kids we're and the women? We're not talking and the impact. We're it's not it's bigger than music. You just yeah, it's but we're bigger not. Than music. But we're not talking about the style and who went harder. We talking about the numbers. So you saying he got he got more oh, yeah. plaques? Yeah, 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 yeah more, more plaques, plaque, more plaques, more plaque number one Yeah, yeah. And he hasn't even touched movies. And he ain't even took twenty five. <laughs> let me tell you like this: Drake on the way to pass Michael Jackson. That you can't say nothing about that King. I don't. I don't know about that. You, he'll never be able to touch Michael Jackson. On number wise, non performance wise, but man, damn, we talking about number wise. Talking about man, man. Because I'm talking about how far, far is he from far number wise? When he oh, show up, if, we, if, if Drake right show there, up, if right Michael there. Jackson show up, yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson gonna win. It's gonna be like if Tupac show up and, and the young boy show up. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Tupac gonna win. Nah, no, he saying no. cause NBA young boy don't he, come out. He real late. He don't play no game. But the difference but, but, is, but when he come out, those kids gonna be. Yeah, it, but that's what you just said, kids. The difference is Tupac ain't okay, have no kids. No kids. World, so some world, kids right? love Tupac because of yeah, their my parents. My daughter love him. Kids no, you love. She eighteen. She eighteen. Yeah, kids she loved him since she was little. So you got twenty five. You, you got for young boy. You got young boys only kids. I, no hell no. I know thirty only year olds kids. try to act like young boy. The tight pants and no. Yeah, yeah I seen <laughs> That's a, a handful. I, I seen a I seen a young nigga try to try to act like young boy. So at the end of the day, call each other slime and shit. No. Yeah, you know you don't seen the old nigga come over and sound like a, <laughs> they try to talk like a young boy. Like straight up gang, some of the gang shit, nah, they don't see that. Yeah, yeah, you don't seen a thirty year old nigga come over here talking about some gang shit. Man, no, ain't no way, man. Man, it, the NBA young boy, he's a good rapper and he's a good guy, and I respect what he's done in his era. But he's no Tupac at all. He couldn't touch him with a tenth. It, it, it's just the numbers better. That's the what I, I'm not gonna. I no hell no. You didn't see all of. Well, what's recorded, yeah, but the impact, you can't even count numbers when you start talking about impact, and you and I both know that. The numbers, this is, I, mean, I know more people that went to jail for listening to to young boy. He have influenced the kids to kill each other. He have influenced, y'all know how many people died off young boy? He got kids rocking around here killing each other. And Tupac did too. Tupac had people want to be want to be gangsters. He the one you wouldn't yeah. had all these shirts off and all that. That's Tupac. Shirts off come from Tupac. Maybe it was, not in Texas. It was hot. <laughs> it was Tupac, man. It was hot. So Tupac, yeah. so Tupac influenced. So 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 without Tupac, Big S would have a shirt on. No, he wouldn't have a shirt on. <laughs> Rick Ross either. <laughs> I gotta ask you something. So we better let him get out of here. Yeah, again. I know. But um, where did you know how rappers love to wear like a lot of jewelry and the way how they dress and stuff like that. Uh, here we where, go. Did that where did that come from? Where do you think that came Boosie. from? No, no, I'm talking rappers. Period. When the rap game started, Boosie. and oh, they used, and they used to wear all of this stuff. Where do you think Mr. all T, of that yeah, came Mr. from? Didn't no, Mister T. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't Mister T. It wasn't Mr. that. It was pimping. It was pimping pimps. Who pimps. pimps? We've been interviewing these pimps lately, and that's uh, where it come from. Mm -hmm. They, I looked at this style, you gotta think the about Rolls Royces, the fans in this. Them niggas got it, bro. We they interviewed this guy. Real. He said, um, "Mr. T got it from. Um, he used to Don be the one. driver from Don one. for Don one. Huh. His security. Matter of fact, he owes some money. So, so, so let me mm -hmm. ask you a question. So, y'all yeah, up here interviewing pimps? <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, uh, in, in Chicago, that's where it's. Yeah, you should have asked them why is pimps getting these girls pregnant. That's a part of the game. Mm hmm. What the they, they they freaking? They want some ass too. No, not it. The thing is that they want to get pregnant. They want to get pregnant by their pimp. They because they can't, just like what you talk about, like in the music game, when you have all these other guys getting some of these females' head, they try to run stuff. If they the ones in their heads, they control uh -huh. everything. And also, they are only used to dealing with those type of women. They don't know how to deal with. They yeah. call it simple girls or green girls. Yeah, and that's how I was growing. How I, was. I don't know how to deal with no grown lady. See, and so look, let me ask you a question. So. How you feel about these pimps up here fucking these girls on OnlyFans? 
But I don't be watching. They doing y'all that. Gotta see, yo. <laughs> we don't know. See, I don't watch that, oh, so I don't know. See, I'm, I'm, I'm sending to y'all phone one night. No, 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 no. You, keep, you <laughs> can keep that. <laughs> you Listen, stupid. Pimps is out here fucking these girls route, and they don't turn to porn stores. No, man. They have. And, and on Harry Hines, Harry that's Hines. That's their girlfriends. That ain't. They, they, all of them girlfriends. Listen, I spend yeah. a lot more time with them than everybody yeah. else. I see. I thought I was pimping, but I was really just getting girlfriends. I remember heard about you and yeah, your pimping. Yeah, man, back in my day, back in my day, I was pimping, 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 pimping. I got How you shit, pimping? Got, you wasn't making, you wasn't giving them to nobody else? Who? Yeah, I was. I was the king of back then. And they're bringing you money. Yeah, man, this one girl, listen, in 2008, right, she said, I, she said in my car, and I met her at Cirque. What she said, Dad, I want you nah, to. Nah, she said, I said, I met her at Cirque. And we was out kicking it all night long. And I was like, damn, I gotta get a hotel. And I was in my Honda. And so she was like. You were homeless. I was, yeah, I was in my Honda. Now, and I, wasn't, I was homeless, but I wasn't homeless time because I could go back to my mom. I couldn't take her to City Hill, my mom. Had. <laughs> my mom be looking at me crazy, this ghetto girl. I her these tattoos, <laughs> smoke cigarettes. And she went to Skyline too, so she, she was from the hood. So he was like, I go over here. Over here, it was over here in Hines. So she said, it was at the 7-Eleven. She said, stop at this 7-Eleven. Drop me off. And I'll meet you over there by the shelves with the La Quinta. So she said, she said go sit at the La Quinta parking lot, and I'm going to come. So I'm like, all right. So about two hours, come back. She came back with about $500. Damn. And I was like, damn, girl, where you get that from? I thought she stole it or something. And then she put it in my hand. And there ain't nothing, and it, it wasn't, and nothing was the same. And you kept her by your side the whole time. I loved her. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, let me ask, I gotta ask I, I loved I gotta, her. I gotta ask you about Birdman and uh, uh, that crew so allegedly mm -hmm. uh, robbed Drewski for his chain. Yeah, Drewski no entertainer. Do you think that's real or fake? Yeah, why would they be beefing with uh, Drewski? <laughs> when when, uh, when a nigga from Philadelphia sit there and say he ain't shit and this and that, this and that. He, the nigga, what's the name from Philadelphia? The uh, uh, Wallow and uh, what's the name? They Gilly. Say? Gilly. Gilly said he ain't shit. He, and he bigger than Birdman. Why Birdman would do that to a comedian? That's how. That's how. That's how views. That's how views. Do you think it's a good look for Birdman? Do you think that's a good look for them to get in? You know, kind of mess nah, with the internet. Birdman do anything right now. Why? He fell out. Man, you crazy, man. Birdman. So you, you when you say fell off because you saying. The, are you saying the star power ain't there? Because he definitely a star. He, so what do you mean fell off? You talk about the music scene? Yeah. He helped, He rock with Young Boy. That's him and Young Boy and them still do stuff together. It just they don't say nothing about it. But he definitely rock, rock with him. Uh, he's slick. No, no, he is. But at the end of the day, he old. So you know, sometimes everybody got fall off. So you don't think that. That's a what is that? Cause he they smart, bro. They always thinking. Birdman, Birdman, just, them always thinking Birdman of what they gonna let, do next. Birdman let Yo Gotti come take his spot. How the hell Yo Gotti take Birdman's spot? Because Birdman for 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 years years ain't no label was bigger than Cash Money. You think CMG is now? Right now at this point, at this at this, at this moment, yeah. Man, they got a long way to go to catch up Birdman them selling records and all man, they sold a billion records. I understand it, but right now and what is you saying? Right now in this generation, if you ask the local kid who you want to sign to. Because he got all them young Yes, young who you want to sign to? They're gonna say CMG. Yeah, but that ain't the way Birdman them gonna do it. Birdman gonna work his magic through NBA Young Boy. Yeah, he gonna do yeah, it like uh, that. He ain't trying to be on the uh, forefront. Nah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, he's not. It the, the way when you start doing interviews telling about talking about the past like Al Bundy. You want that? You want that glory again, man? We was doing it. We were doing that. And Birdman still signed the rappers. He just can't get to that point no more. It's hard. Nigga, you 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 had a Wayne. Do you Andrew. think the music is 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 fizz, fizzling out? Or how is music when you come to an over level? That was good. What's the biggest song? Our last time you told me it was that you you hit it. What? You knew it was that uh Bob, but that that song you mentioned uh -huh. it to me. Bow bow bow. Oh, that was bad. Okay, one. what's next? Now what's going on? Uh, why to be fat? No, 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 no. Sex is real. Sex is real. She's still holding the reins. She's still. What you think about? Some people say um she got pregnant on that video that she leaked. <laughs> yeah, I think the nigga did it. You think that? Personally, yo, he, he knew she was pregnant. He so knew. she was pregnant when she did leak that video. Yo, you forgot the video wasn't about two, three months ago. I know when she put it out, but it could have been an old video. Yeah, I'm saying, but she looked like she five months. 
So the nigga put it out there. <laughs> she never said who her baby daddy is or nothing. Mm-mm. That would did. Oh, he probably old broke dusty ass nigga. She said she like a nigga that come home and kind of musty. <laughs> this nigga stupid as hell. If you come home and you kind of musty, that mean you a hard worker, hard labor. You gotta get your butt in that tub. Dude. You gotta go get that shower. Hell no! Nah. You come home musty, y'all ass can y'all ass can be bullshitting. You would have got musty over there at your nigga and, 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 and playing video games yeah, and, yeah. and a hot ass. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, that's real. Yeah, so her type of niggas, I think they can't help musty for just bullshitting. Damn, man, Rain, I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> I can be, I can be able to get a hold to you, man. The same, same as last time. Ah! <laughs> same as last time. Man, dude. What happened with Dallas Strip Club? They took the 18 year olds away. <laughs> the 19 year olds away. Remember them? And, and listen, cause, because you can go for the high class women, right? Then you could just settle for a little 19 year old that don't know her worth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, just straight up. Damn. Yeah, you straight up. Right now, I could miss no 19 year old because at the end of the day, baby, I don't know who you're sharing your location. They'll be for sharing locations. This shit crazy out yeah, here. Yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. But you like them young girls because you want to be, you want to teach them. You want to. Well, no, break yeah, them yeah, in yeah I like a turnout, not yeah, a burnout. Yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like a turnout, not a burnout. I already, listen, knew, I already knew that. Li- li- then, because the old one, listen. The old woman, I come around them right now. She might can teach you something. Nah, hell nah. That bitch gonna say, he come with a huge house. He come with this, he come with that. Well, baby, what you doing with this? What you doing with that? You ain't finna... Your old woman stuck in their way, especially if they got kids. Oh, man. Listen, I have never ever had... I never had a relationship with anybody girl, woman with kids. Can't do it. Oh, that's deal breaker. Hell yeah. Hell I got right. five. Because I you know. got all them kids No, yourself. before I had all them kids, I never ever been around a woman with kids because at the end, they, they're stuck in their ways. You still got your baby daddy. You still got. You still got. You talking to all the t- wrong type of woman. That's why. No, you no. It don't matter. That's how Mo three got killed, but with a baby daddy. You cannot the listen. wrong type of woman. No, I'm saying it don't matter who the baby daddy is, what type of women that is. If I go around a, a woman right now, I'm like, so who your baby daddy? It don't matter. When she say that, oh yeah, it do matter, bro. I, I forgot to ask you. It's a cipher. Good. The, the cipher uh, that that I think Puka Lee right there is a cipher. He that nigga got a cipher. I know that was the old crew. That it, that was like it, that, that was like the big three league. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga st- <laughs> that was like the big three. They came through though. I heard. I, I like that nigga. That nigga was singing. Oh. That old singing nigga on there was going in. Hey, what's his name? Pay that. Yeah, he was going in. Let me tell you. Why would you categorize yourself? Like, that nigga go hard. He go hard. That nigga singing. But they out all the old. That nigga bad. You could you Man, wouldn't work too, with him. He too old. But that nigga bad. That nigga yeah, right. That nigga same. Listen, like I said last time, what label do y'all see signing old niggas? People. What about that young nigga in South Dallas that no, that, that, no. that 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 half pint told me about? What's that nigga name? Uh, oh, I am Dino. That's him. Very cool. Listen, but well, he, he, <laughs> he he know he, all he, these folks. This nigga, he watching them street stations. Yeah, I know, I know everything moving. Listen, <laughs> listen, I know where they from. I know everything about. Listen. When the last time you seen what 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 old nigga got a buzz in the streets right now? There's over thirty. That's fresh. You can't think. They have to be them built it up. They have to be built it up, nigga. From labels not taking they taking no risk with no old nigga. Do, do Even you, South Dallas Kiki goes so hard that she sat down with real life street stars and said, "I don't need no deal. Mm. I, I don't need no deal. I can stay independent right now." What? But a lot of people is trying to stick with that independence though. They are ignorant. You need a deal. Another nigga told me yesterday, nigga, I ain't finna sign no three sixty deal. Why? You wouldn't work with South Dallas Kiki? I mean, she stuck in her. She go hard. She the hardest. Cause female. that's one thing I love. No, she go. She the hardest female, but she stuck in her. You can't say she. she you stuck, said she, Nina Loretta is the hardest female no, too. No, 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 no. One thing about it, them two go hard. Who harder, Nina or South Dallas Kiki? I'm going with South Dallas Kiki because she uh because she younger. That's about it. Nah, they about the same age. Oh, South really? Dallas, South Dallas Kiki probably older. Huh? Mm-hmm. South Dallas Kiki was the Royal Lee girlfriend. Oh okay. Yeah, but South Dallas Kiki uh she stuck in her ways already. And I told and I'm named, I'm not ashamed telling nobody here. I'm not talking down on her. She go to hard and and I think she's amazed and satisfied with the local fame that she got. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You going to the local high schools and local this and local that and going to the local clubs and being on a local cipher. You know, that's cool. If I was her manager or I was around her, I wouldn't let her get on that cipher. Mm. I ain't finna box myself in with, with this category over here. So that's one thing I did do with 03. I made him feel and I made people feel like you think you better than everybody. Cause then your prices go up and they're not so right now, everybody that's that's stand alone is making it. Big X is making it because he's actually standing alone. He signed. He got a couple of chains around some pockets. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? But he's standing alone. Like he ain't part of the in crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ciphers. The we all gonna go in the studio do one big old song and all that. Good that's young. unity, man. Man, that ain't no. That's bringing it's bring, unity in the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, put it like this. The NBA was better last a bit back in the day because once you played on the team, you wasn't gonna go practice and kick it with them this summer. You know what I'm saying? This summer you go kick it with them. You know, you know, niggas used to hate each other in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, uh, you, unity is good, but unity you put your you put everybody in the same box. Man, tell me one thing about you that your fans would be surprised to know about you. You got a lot of fans, nigga. I'm a mm -hmm. daddy. Everybody they know that. Knows, you, everybody I seen you pillow fighting with them kids the other day. Oh, you put that look fun. I was like, this nigga having fun. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'm a I daddy. See, they all know that. Everybody know you post that. But they tell not. me one thing about you that you, they would be surprised to know. Uh, I'm scared of roaches. That's real. I ain't never killed a roach. Oh, you gonna jump on the chair for roast come right now. Well, I'm Ash, I'm waiting for y'all come <laughs> kill it. <laughs> that I, I was locked up. I went to jail the other day for tickets. In um, uh, in Irving, and there was roaches in there, and it was a small jail, and they, I seen it. I seen the motherfucker from across the, <laughs> from across the room. I'm looking at the door, right, and he just came. I watched that bitch for hours. You know what I'm saying? He like he disappeared, and I can't even come back around. Come around, he done found his way by my damn cell. You hear me? But that bitch got close to that cell. Oh, go, go. <laughs> I so got I so got they killed them up here laughing at people and I ain't I hate a roach I hate a flying roach that's the worst thing you can you can bring around a fly on you a flying I'm roach country, you ever see them videos on TikTok or that like when you sleep in a roach can come in this yes and go <laughs> one day my mama got a a roach stuck in her ear no. growing up and we had to go to the hospital. That's why you scared of them. It traumatized. That traumatized. Nah, that was that that wasn't just terrible. I've been scared. I was scared of roaches coming out. I hate a roach. That's the worst thing I can see right now. And I just stirred like, what the fuck? You ever had a roach in your house? Yeah, I call. I call to kill him. I get him. Get exterminated. I call somebody to come get it. One day, listen. One day, I kept my eye on this roach in my house until I door dashed some raid. <laughs> This nigga crazy. No, you lying. I swear to God, I hate roaches. That's one thing. I ain't never killed a roach in my life. You spray him, but you ain't going to step on it. What? I, I, I spray I spray everything down. In that until direction. I get it. Huh? In that in direction. That direction. <laughs> I spray everything down that direction. Don't let him crawl on the some shit. He crawled on the stuff. Then I, I go get them, bo uh, them, uh, bom them bombs. I set that bitch off. <laughs> I got to ask you who's the top three. Okay. When you think of New York. Mm -hmm. Ever to do it? Who was the best ever to do it in Just New York? Just in New York. I'm gonna I'm go, no, go to the West Coast too. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Z, Jay the Kids, Nas. I might list different. Who? I probably gonna say I'm older, so Eric uh -huh. B, Rakim, Eric, of course, Rakim, and uh, I'm gonna say Fifty. Uh, Fifty. I gotta say 50. Oh, yeah, I gotta say 50. I gotta say 50. I gotta say 50. I'm a 50, 50. fan, so. I right, give me another state. <laughs> I'm going to the West Coast, all the West Coast. I'm gonna uh, do the Midwest, too. Pac. Uh, so you say who, uh, just one in the West Coast? No, 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 no. We're well, we gonna we go start, we go start with California. Okay. Pac. Mines. Yeah. Well, I can just sit in the car and listen to from the West Coast. Pac. Nate Dog, Nate Dog, Snoop, Snoop. That's my three. That was almost a two one three. If you'd put one G in there, yeah, one. Nah, that was okay, a two one three. Yeah, one G. I, <laughs> that's a two one, one three. One one G. Birth zero. You think so? Hey, yeah, it's same sound. That nigga, that that G funk era was crazy. Yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, nigga yeah. was crazy, yeah, wasn't it? Was. But I don't know though. Regulator. Listen, that's what I'm saying. If you do Nate Dog and one G. 
Man, Nate, that, that, Nate Dog had a better voice. Yeah, Nate Dog. Nate Dog, Nate Dog had a better Nate voice. Dog, so, so Midwest, you know, I just went up there with uh, uh, Larry Hoover Jr. and did his birthday party, and I heard Crucial Conflict. Yeah. I interviewed Do or Die, Twister. Man, that's why I'm trying. Man, to you got a bunch of people up there. Birthday party, and I try to get Juvenile. I think I'm gonna settle for Twister. All you gotta do is call. I can call. I, I call definitely AK. Quick. No AK. No, I can give AK. To do or Die. You did. They, yeah, but that, man, listen. Do or Die ain't shit without Twister. They all, it seemed like they're together. I told them that on the yeah, interview. It, 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 it's like, y'all seem like a group, nigga. Now look, if you gonna sit up there and do uh, Poe Pimping and all that they shit. They killed it, though. At the party, uh, yeah. all them niggas can, them uh, niggas did a hell of a lot. Uh, or do you, you gotta leave the, you gotta leave it on to twist the, the twist the part. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Twister was, was more fluently with the beat. Nah, them niggas was all hidden, man. Nah, you can't. Twister, of course, is different about kind of animal, but them all, them niggas was hidden, bro. Man, you say, so you talk. So who you say, Midwest? You, you got, I, I, I got, you got Shauna in the nah, Midwest, nah, too. Nah, 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 Shauna. Yeah, you got a shit female. Uh, uh, listen, See, he don't listen, never listen, do this listen, female. Listen. I know you talking about. Listen, I got R. Kelly in the midway. No, I got you. I got this. Is what I got? I got R. Kelly first. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that until you said that. <laughs> that nigga bad. Listen. R. Kelly is first. I got Bone Thugs. I got Bone Thugs and Harmon. They, they, they from Connecticut, ain't no, they? No, they from, they, nigga, they from East 99. <laughs> that nigga, Cleveland, nigga. Cleveland, East yeah, yeah. 99 is yeah, where you yeah. find me, baby. And then yeah. I got Twister. Twister. Who the hardest out Twister and, 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 bone. and Bone? Bone. You think Bone hard and Twister? Man, Bone go eat they ass up you alive. crazy. I am? Man, you never know who can win that. That'll be a toss up. What? Out of Nigga, it's hard. That's Adam a hard. Bone? Nigga, don't you oh, know what's going on? I didn't tell you you grew up with no damn bone thugs and harmony. Man, I, I love was a, bone thugs. I was a bone head. You can't just throw bone twist, and, the, twist miss, and do a die. Can't send the, it twist was, and do a die. Can't send the room with bone. No, nah, hell you no. You crazy. From the first and second album? No, hell no. Man, they can get in that room. It's the first of the month. Wake up. Wake up. Listen, before it was a Pimp C, it was a bone with us a harmony in my life. No, Pimp C was before no, that. No, 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 not not for you. Pimp C was not, before that. Pimp C, Pimp C was not before Crossroads. Boy, you got your damn look mind. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Man, I ain't watch gotta it, look it, it up. up. That, nigga, nah. nigga, Pimp nah. C there was in 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 uh ninety three, ninety two. We knew you weren't listening to Pimp C in 92. Yes, I was. No, you was not yes, listening to Yes, I was. I'm a real Pimp C fan. Pimp C, you were not Man, nigga, I was listening to them niggas in 92 and 93. They that did Pocket Full of Stones way back then when they first came out. And they had one before that. Well, uh, uh, and what's your, hello? Bone Thug, uh, Crossroads. Bone Thug, did, Bone, Bone them came out around the same time. Might be a little later. When did, when did, when did Bone, when did EZ bring them boys out? I don't know. I'm looking if he say right. ninety, no, nah, it was about ninety seven. Yeah, because I was old. 96, 97, So no, no, uh, uh, yo, Triller the last nigga, but this time you better move a gat, nigga. That's that's uh, B U N B, bitch. That man, that first album, man, and then Super Tight. By the time that came out, what you talking about, man? Uh, Ryan Dirty was out. Ryan, let's see, that's what that's. Ryan yeah. Dirty was out when that came out. He had, they had two in the, they already had two in the basket. 96. See what I'm saying? I'm talking yeah. 93. Go look at Pocket Full of Stone. Go look at yeah. uh, their first album, uh, which it was on uh, that dude that passed away, Ben Bum was talking about. Uh, big Time. It was on Big Time, their first one. And that was that was before they even signed why the job. Let me ask you a question. That's why I got and, you by age, and Bung, I know. And Bun gonna be mad at me. Definitely gonna be mad at you because he yeah, watched Boss Talk. He did on here. I know. I, nah, no, I love it. I, I think I, I still eat that trip burgers. Look. <laughs> <laughs> listen. <laughs> just to hear some Pimp C. Listen. All right. And I want to ask him, though, too. 92. Told you, yeah, yeah. I'm old. I but, but, listen but, to but, it. But they weren't they weren't booming into '96. Now you crazy, man. They you, they they, 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 why you think I cut for them so much? You out your mind? Bone was bigger than them in '96. No, 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 no. Yes, it was '96. Not for me. Or not for you. Bone. Hell, not Ryan Dirty. Yeah, but listen, Jay Z even knew that that hoe was hard. That's why he come down listen, here. Listen, let me let me see. Let me ask you a question. Why Bond can keep it up after Pimp died? Man, it's tough. That's that's a tough pill to swallow. He took a double hit when you look at Pimp was locked up, and then he come home, and then he died. Man, I mean, that's a lot to come behind. But he, look at look at when you lost Mo Three. You was depressed. You was in a depression for a while. Yeah, but if I was a rapper, I'd be. Mm. 
No, you can't say that. I was on the kill. You can't say that. I was on the It's hard to come behind. It's so, hard so, to come behind. Uh, Pimp C locked up, then Pimp C died. I, I, how long did it take him before he died? It wasn't long. Huh. It, might, it wasn't long at all, actually. They say his body was so swole. Yeah, he had been out of the. He had been out of the. He been. I think he'd been in that room for a while. How long? I don't know. But the funeral home called me. What they say? They just told me. They was pretty much just telling me the details of how the body was when it came. What did they say? Um, I can't really. It, well, he didn't get into much detail. He, he just, You know what he said? That was crazy because he, he said he didn't want to come on Boss Talk 101. He just wanted me to know because I always talk about PMC. Uh -huh. And he was pretty much just telling me that PMC ended up at a white funeral home instead of a black funeral home. So that was odd because white people, black people usually don't go to white funeral mm -hmm. homes. So that was odd for him, mm -hmm. being a white guy that had to prep him and mm -hmm. get him, you know, prepare his body. Mm. That's why all that's all he said. That's all he kind of what stuck nah, with me. Nah, Mo three went to a white funeral. Home. He did too. Yeah, because because the black people when you superstars, you don't want to be around that nigga shit. You know, they, they might take a picture of your body. They might, they might. Oh, that makes sense. They might I get, didn't think they of it that way. Somebody jury. I didn't think of it that yeah, way. So yeah, yeah, you know. The, the, so you saying the wife funeral home is more professional? Man, my, mama, if I die right now, send me to send me to the white man. You rather go to a white? I rather go to the white man. You have some very reputable black funeral homes. Don't like do what? that. Nah, my partner. Listen, we shoot all our videos in black funeral homes. Every video that we shoot. So you only get shoot the videos there, but you won't want him to dress your body there. No, nah, he'll not take me to the white man. I don't want him to know nobody, no Mo3, no Rainwater, no none of that shit. You, <laughs> nigga, I go to a black nigga shit, I probably done talk down on one of his cousins. They probably done slapping the shit out of me. Pissing on me and everybody. Body, you dead anyway. Yeah, don't, you ain't gonna know. Give them. Don't give a damn. So at the end of the day, take, send me to the white man. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, hey, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. I always enjoy talking to you, man. You, you, ba uh, um, you basically... You gotta bring, you gotta do something to bring the uh, the boogie movement been coming back. You see Johnny Damn D, man. Isn't it? You see Johnny Damn D. Yeah, you see uh you see uh uh even I think I seen Mister Hit that coming back. It's a, it's a few niggas out here dancing now. It's, it's gonna come back. It's gonna, you think gonna TikTok? I'm seeing them. They getting some play. Like you hear? That's it? why I need I need I need what's called a whole click. You need to sit down somewhere and bring them to me. Are you is really shooting for uh, uh need, old boy Prince's clip? He don't know. Star. He don't know what to do with them. Wait. But you earlier you said you on you wanted one, but I've heard you said you wanted two out of that group. <laughs> I yeah, know. I have two. Yes. I know two of them. If, yeah, I need two. Then how you if said give, one listen, earlier? If, if I give myself on one 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 uh, one of them, they cool because right now they don't know that they they only see here. They hadn't been around. They like, don't see y'all in Miami and with us and you know and in 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 this place and this place and you know what I'm saying funny. But he called me to get in contact with Funny Mike. You don't see yeah Funny Mike them. Uh, uh, you know it's 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 the big world. It's millions out here. We playing with millions out here. You know, with Don Chief and uh, uh, uh what's the name Twisted Black doing that versus make me think. Who would you pick to do a versus that you think could make it big, like for Dallas, like for Dallas and Houston, for the South, for Texas, Mo three uh, San did. Antonio too. Mo three did. I would put. I would put Mo three. I would put Mo three versus. And I got one. You got Boosie too. You got a yeah, bunch of people. This, this, this Texas wise right now. I'm saying yeah, Texas. Texas right now. Dallas and Fort Worth. I put Dunn Chief versus Dunn Chief versus the Young Hawk. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I would. I don't know, man. You got some kill, man. You got some dudes, man. man. That could be a gangster party. You must ain't never been to a, the 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 J Dog. J Dog go hard. Yeah, J Dog show. But you gotta think about it, man. You got Kiki. You got a bunch of them. You got some peeps. You got some I, bangers. I gotta, you got I, some. But see, I gotta leave. I gotta leave them out. We gotta do Dallas. We got we gotta meet up in the. Oh, you gotta make it Dallas. Water pool. Dallas. You gotta so make Dallas something can, interesting. So Dallas can see, they gotta work harder. Now, now if Mo Three was alive, yeah, I put Mo Three against all of them. A Kiki, Kiki, Spitz, Kiki. I put three against zero. I, I, I believe in my heart, in my heart, and a lot of people's heart, Mo three went harder than zero. He got more hits than zero. I said something on, and I just said it on that Do a Die interview, and I'm about to say it again now, and then what? I never asked Rain, but I'm gonna ask Rain what? right now uh, before I get off this thing. What? I was at the barbershop, 
Shout out to my bar, the barbershop, you know. <laughs> and me and them niggas got into it in there. Because they told me that little Kiki can't even go in the studio with Eminem. Fuck no. He can't even go in there? Fuck no. And y'all crazy. Y'all don't think this man, y'all don't get y'all. And, and I'm not talking about, I'm talking about make a big song. He can't touch it at all. Can't touch it at all. I can't kick it right now. I can't touch it. I'm just kicking. I, 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 you know, yeah. we have talks all the time. All night. I got Kiki on a bunch of bumping records. Okay. Kiki ain't fucking with those goddamn. He can't, he, Bun B can't go in there. No, hell no. Literally. So nobody can go in there with Eminem from the South. Nobody. Not even Scarface. You know, y'all be hating Fuck on Scarface. No, that shit too slow. Are you crazy? Yeah, no, that's Bro, Scarface. You, I, 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 what I'm trying to figure out is how y'all think that these people, these men, these people, these these celebrities, Travis Scott, these, none of these guys can even rap with this dude. The only nigga I... Y'all out y'all damn mind. Only, Jay-Z, the only one can go in there with him. The only nigga from... Y'all niggas crazy. This is the only nigga from the South... Pimp C couldn't have went in that way. He couldn't rap. He was just, he was set of swag. I, it ain't about, I'm yeah, not no, just, yeah, I'm not yeah, just yeah, basing yeah, this yeah, on yeah, rap either. Yeah. Maybe that's what no, you're The mixed only taking. person that I know that can rap and, and go, and go. I'm not talking about rap. I'm yeah, trying to yeah, make a big song, something that's going to jam. Because uh, I jam. Uh, I'm not worried uh, about Eminem, that lyrical Eminem, stuff like that. Eminem. I mean, not Eminem. Kevin Gates. So Kevin Gates can go in there. Kevin Gates. Boosie couldn't even go in there. You out your mind, bro. Mm. And you know, he calls it Boosie, so. He called, that, that's because he, he listening, he thinking lyrically, he listened to no, the No, Kevin Gates is, Kevin Gates. I love Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is a bad motherfucker. I believe Kevin Gates is bad, but I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and, and, and I like Boosie, but I, let me say this, Boosie, he jam, and I like the shit he talk about. But Kevin Gates a bad motherfucker. But what makes him better? Because Kevin Gates can get off a lot of subjects. And help you with life. That nigga can rap, and he's so lyrical. He's so that nigga can rap, lyrical, and he could talk about some shit that you, that 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 could just like. Damn. You saying he more intelligent? Yeah, he more intelligent. Bro, when I put Bun B, when, uh, when Toe Down said Bun B versus Jay Z, a lot of people went with Bun B, bro. I'm not playing, didn't he? Mm-hmm. A lot of people. I'm talking. I guess because we in the south, but everybody in them comments was going with Bun B. Listen, listen, listen. I'm just be real. Damn, I can't say that. <laughs> As a, a lot of people, as a young man. man, as a young man growing up, and listen, no offense to Bun B, UGK is my favorite group. My UGK PMC is my favorite rapper. Growing up, when Bun Part used to come on, I couldn't wait for PMC Part come on. That's called PMC gonna say something crazy. Like you that. into that bad stuff. Nah, That's what nah, nigga nah, bad nah, child. Nah, nah, listen to Pimp. Nah, nah, nah. The way he came yeah, on that beat, I was, I was riding in my Honda. And they say, the drink over the ice is so cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this, 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 this this like a That's what you listening to. Niggas in the game. <laughs> and then he came back and started rapping on the end. That's because he going to say something crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what make us yeah, love it's him. A, a, Bun is more, he directional with them flows, man. Even, yeah, I know, but even like, uh, they compliment uh, each other. They compliment yeah, each they other. Compliment, even like that, uh, what's that called? It, uh, they out of sight, but fuck it. That beat come on, and beat come on, and uh, dollars. Uh, yeah. We holding now, man. We controlling now. Just, I hit the scene. Man, when PMC got... talk, be like, oh yeah, I'm on West Time with two hundred on my wrist. But it you, ain't all about them diamonds and them golds. Yeah, it's, it's, it was his. But you know delivery. what? And Bun said that in the interview. Bun Bun knew his position in that. Yeah. And Bun knew that that Pimp Hart was into it so much more. He only did it because of Pimp and the way Pimp. That's what made him motivated to do it. But Pimp knew, Pimp was a musician. He loved the music. He was he was he was into it so much that Bun. I had wonder to why do they it. won't put a Pimp C move out. He's got to get it there, man. I'm a that's that, that's something we trying to do. When I do his birthday, uh, <laughs> that's what uh, we trying to do. That's what so, we trying to do. So listen, I'm listen. with him. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, probably the same reason about the mode three because you got to go through really? so many. Yeah. Not only that, you got to go through so many avenues to get it done. Yeah, because you got you got wives, kids, family. If it was just one person, that. yeah, it you know about been that. Done. Yeah. So look, let me ask a question. So who who was more influenced? Who influential? Yeah, influential in Houston. Pimp C. Cause Pimp C had a whole Houston want to be a pimp. He was okay. trying to pull it off. Or and talk shit. Yeah. Or who? DJ Screw. DJ Screw. Yeah. I'd rather see a DJ. I, I, like that. You, have you seen that? Preview? You know DJ Screw. It's probably a movie coming out. You seen that preview? Yeah. In, 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 no, that that wasn't even a movie. It was a short film. 
that somebody made in school. No. Yeah, it was a short film. It wasn't a movie. You never seen the movie. You remember I came on, you like, damn, that's it right there. Like, man, that bitch gonna be hard. You got Kiki in that man. bitch. Pimp, Pimp, was, Pimp was a beast, bro. He was a beast, Who man. was more influential? Pimp was a beast. I'm a Pimp fan, Pimp so. It's yeah. hard for me. I would never. If it, was, if, it, if it wasn't from no, if it wasn't for Screw, it wouldn't be no Kiki. No Zero, especially Zero. Don't say, don't say UGK. Nah. Nah, because nah, UGK they never had two album. albums. Out. See, I'm more interested in seeing, I want to see that. The big mo, the big, big hog, all that. Pat, Pat. Yes, bro, that that screw movie gonna be a fool. Look, Kiki on that hoe. I know it. That's why y'all y'all you trip because when y'all start saying they can't go in the booth and stuff, no, 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 niggas, man, they ain't no Eminem can't hot jam no. I'm talking about jamming. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. Kiki, I don't even listen, listen to him like that. And I'm a big, you know, Kiki. he lyrical. But when it come down to Kiki going that, booth, I'm gonna take a Kiki verse and song every time. Kiki's nigga. cultural, man. You will take a, a Kiki verse over Eminem? I'm gonna take it every. time. Time. Yeah, you need to stay podcast. But you know why, right? Uh, why? Because got, if you, okay, nah, when okay. I go listen, okay, when I listen to music, you from East if Texas. we go, okay, if we go listen to music right now, yeah, yeah. in your car, all the way, me and you for the ride to Houston, we gonna listen to him all the way? Or we gonna listen yeah. to Kiki? We ain't gonna listen to Kiki. Yeah. We gonna listen to him. I, I will listen to him. You out your damn mind. You ain't not finna listen to no damn him like that. Yeah, I will. You lying. You lying. No way. You, unless you just weird like that, ain't no way you finna listen to no. Nigga, I'm gonna put that Kiki in, I'm gonna bang that hoe all the way, and you know it. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you sleepy. Tell him, you, t you crazy. I'm gonna get sleepy. You out your damn mind. I'm gonna get sleepy. Ain't no way in hell. You think, when we putting it, you gonna put on Stan? Eminem on Stan. I'm gonna put on. Uh, I sit back and relax at this stack of this. Nah, 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 Come nah, on, I'm putting that first Stop. bitch on. What? I'm gonna put that first bitch on. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt See, you. See, you lying. You weird. I ain't no way. You ain't no way. That nigga had some stores. And then we're talking. You really had some stores. He is not listening to that music like that. He lying. You see what Chris Brown When he say, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. Crap. I'm just like, what? Yeah, that nigga lying. 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 Yeah, that's different. <laughs> he one come shot, out, one he, shot. That's a good song to come out. Yeah, he ain't come out the, the south side. That's why you stuck right there. Why? Cause, cause, Carl, nah, cause Carl, nah, Carl. nah, nah. I'm a, listen. I talk to Kiki all the time. It's not Carl Crawford. It's not Carl. It's, 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 it's Carl Crawford. Like, what, like, what, what you think about Carl about? Crawford? That's my boy. Huh? That's my boy. No, uh, he was just here. Yeah, I think Carl Crawford need get out there dancing, fuck them hoes, and fuck. I mean, fuck them uh, female rappers. He, he got a little young dude he just brought on. A street here. rapper? He just uh, a little dude that rap. A uh, little young. Uh, he about, what, 17, 16? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he he going a different way because at the end of the day, I, I don't I don't think they took him they, they they took him for granted. Man, he did good by them. Like they should have stayed with him because he could spend that bread on. No, what's guy should stay with him? Who? Smoothie Poppy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why you think that? He did that. I think he did what he was Possibly obligated to do. Possibly. Yeah. I like Smooth Poppy. So but is he? Is he, do you see? Have you listened lately? I don't know if he he been with Sauce Walker. Yeah, the worst thing he could have did. Why you say that? You because you ain't no. It, it was it was good. Let me tell you, nothing wrong was getting with Sauce. Sauce didn't be working. But, but it, it, it you got to compete. It's about 30, 40 good niggas over there. I mean, good rapping niggas over there. And then you then they, you got everybody getting dime. Everybody hustling hard, working hard. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. He could have been in a, a lane himself over there in the East, that Texas County. And then he go sign a, 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 a TK Barbie. TK Barbie, yeah, and they, still trying and to push. They, man, and they all could have just did their thing harder. You know what I'm saying? But, you know... Um, uh, ain't no wrong with. Uh, I mean, he, I, I think it's working out for him. But when he first came on the scene, with that, with, with, with them goals in his mouth, you could tell he was a country, country nigga. Country mm nigga. -hmm. Yeah, and he, he came, had a buzz for and, a minute. And he then. moved to Houston. Yeah, yeah. He because people always he call. Feel, people always feel that um, Houston have more buzz than he Dallas. Yeah, call. no, but still though, you should have stayed in, in, in Texas County. Ride around, show the text, show the country roots. You see what happened with with, with uh, Mexican OT? Mm. The reason he caught his bug because he went out there and did that freestyle with that chicken. And he on stage every night with them goddamn cowboy boots on with their hat on. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? He's being himself. They loving it. They loving it. 
I think he. I, I think I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, that nigga turned. Nah, that nigga turned to a city city boy. No, nah, he's still country. Yeah, but he don't show the country side. He's still country. He don't show the country side. I ain't never seen any some bitch ride a horse. I know he can. <laughs> How you know he can? Huh? He know know because he he's from the country. I mean, he can. Man, I know he can. He's a physical. He used to be a running back. They say that. Yeah, he, that nigga he, can play yeah, that yeah, ball, yeah, football. I know he can. He's a physical ass nigga. Physical ass nigga. I know he can. I know he can. I know he can. I know he was country country. Ride that hard. Ride. He moved. To, see, the problem is when out of town or moved to Houston, it's a bad thing. Unless you from Houston, like South Walking them, knowing. You can't let yourself go under. You can't get amazed by all the hoes. Like like Houston, you can walk outside and see a thousand. People. You can't at, you the, can. at the gas station in Houston while you pumping gas. You can see you can see ten hoes. If you not from there, you'll get amazed by that, right? As a rapper, right? But then the rappers from out of town that move to Houston, they fall off when they get to Houston because they get amazed. Look, uh, what's the nigga name from uh? Uh, the babe, uh, Mona Leo ba uh, boyfriend, Stunt for Vegas. Oh yeah, you remember that nigga was hot until he got some Houston ass. But you can't he even fell say. Off. But you can't even say that because Aldi from East Texas, Aldi three hundred, and he moved to Houston too, and he doing good. Who the hell is Aldi three hundred? That's my boy. Who was that? That nigga be on him and Lil Kiki and them all. Man, day. we talking about some damn Lil Kiki. We going back to that's my Kiki. boy. Yeah, yeah. LD 300 ain't that nigga uh, hard. Yeah, I understand you, hard, but you ain't heard. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I ain't think. He got a project about to come, <laughs> too. The last time, you know, certain words on this just doesn't give me. Okay, look, okay, look, okay, let's put like oh. this. Cinco P. What happened? What to about Cinco P? Moved to Houston, fell out. I didn't think he moved to Houston. Yeah, did he did. Yeah, he moved to Houston, fell out. Hold up, let me keep going. CJ, CJ Casino. Moved to Houston, and fell out. Uh, 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 who else? Uh, it's a number of them. Once they Drake get Drake moved, moved to Houston and fell off. His and last album didn't do as good. Yeah, yeah, he moved to Houston fell off. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, uh, T. Wayne, you remember? Uh, yeah. It went to Houston and fell off. Erica gotta be from Houston. Erica Banks. She went to Houston. Fell off. This <laughs> nigga's stupid. I, I think she back. In Houston? I think she back out here or something. I see her more out here. They say she back, she back, back, she back out here. When you move to Houston, you can, like right now, people ask me right now in Houston, send me a picture for your for your birthday fly. So it's Houston. Houston, you can get tricked in your head that you're famous as fuck in Houston because you got people from everywhere. Then you got the you got the girls, you got this and that. You think you're famous as fuck, but really you're not shit. That's why when I go to Houston, I, I don't even spend a night in Houston. You can't do it. Fuck no. I go home. I gotta go home. You ain't y'all not finna trick me at my spot. So you think in, in my studio out there in Houston. You can't you can't stay. Man, I'm not finna stay. Me and my three's out there. Well, that's one thing about it. You never cause you can get you can get caught up in the limelight. You get caught up in the limelight, think you on another nigga level. Uh, level. You can go to a strip club in Houston, then Drake might walk in, then James Harden might walk in, then Travis Scott might walk in, then they scream your name with them, and then you go in there and throw ten thousand goddamn dollars in a strip club, thinking you part of you you on the same level as them. Then you gotta go back home and realize, man, that was a damn fool. Then when you get some more money with whoever you met that night, you gotta go back and do it all over again and stay on that same level and keep that same image that you did till you realize two or three years on went by, you still you 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 worse than when you came. Mm. You mentioned wow. Sauce Walker earlier. He has a whole bunch of people with him, but why he never have no female artists? I, I keep hearing about all these male artists. Why he never? Nah, have it's hard to have them female artists. You can't have them female artists around them niggas. You can't. And I like the nigga. Look, look, we all meet up in certain spots of the, of the world. Like sometimes I might, I might just run across Jay Prince Jr. Some like time I work, run across Sauce Walker. So Walker got hits around the world. Like like last time I last time I kicked it with him we, we kicked it with Vegas we kicked it in Vegas we was out there in Vegas we was outside in Vegas like they party hard yeah not you that but we was working we was out in the studio so and then we would go and party so one thing I know about him and then he'll sit back and do that the deal is real he might make fifty thousand dollars a day out that the deal is real so uh, I like South Walker. He about business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He about business. He about Honey Kong Brazy calls 1090 Jake to prove he didn't snitch after being released. Man, nigga, anybody he didn't snitch. Him, tell him Ryan Water looking he for him. He didn't snitch. Yeah, I know. Tell him Ryan. He's still, still, he's still getting on the internet. He back. You know what happened that I need to ask you about? What? what? Man, did you see uh, what's that? Rollo come out and said he wasn't gonna do no song with CMG. Man, listen, they he came out hard in that Sprinter van. Listen, they don't let that nigga got out. 
they don't let these they don't let these the, niggas coming home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They let the real niggas. Why well, wish three kind of pistol charge instead of die? <laughs> Man, that shit fucked me up. God damn! Don't you know them niggas came home, bro? And they coming home. Rollo just came home. Honeycomb and Brady no, they, just came home. Twisted Black on. Now the gangsters coming. And they say, "Go, yeah, you're about to get out." Yeah, but yeah, but top listen, of the year. Listen, the way this nigga Rollo came home with the airplanes, that and nigga wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. That nigga came out. His first day out was harder than anybody else's I done seen. And he was <laughs> not. No, no, who no, else had the first him? day out? Finesse. Oh, that nigga came out too. That nigga came out hard. Yeah, oh, he came, he came out hard. Oh, that, that, that nigga came out hard. That nigga had a that nigga had a song and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that nigga ready yeah, to yeah, rap yeah, like yeah, that yeah. day. That day, yeah. Damn. Yeah, for this. These boys coming out, you know, maybe. That's the new wave. How's a nigga gonna act when he come home? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I got artists right. I got artists right now. They, they, he in jail right now. AOF key. I, you got I, to make sure when he come out, he do a bid. Nigga, we listen. He been in a week. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. You got to get him out. Yeah, when he got to come out with something big. Man, I can't wait till he get out. You better do something. Yeah, because he in California right now. So yeah. they, if they release him tomorrow, I'm flying out there tomorrow. You better do something I'm gonna big. Do a bid. I'm doing big. You gonna have a bag of money? Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, to take yeah, a yeah. bag of money look, with you. Look, and I'm acting. They ain't even gonna realize he been in there a week. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas coming home, man. I'm so glad y'all out, niggas. Yeah, Check it, man. man. Hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. We love you, Rain. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.